because right from the beginning I was sure that I was fighting as job candidate. Uh, how did they get this idea that I would be fighting as a TMC candidate? I am also at a dock. But I immediately called a press conference and made it clear that I am a job candidate. As president of job, my party has nominated me and I am going to fight as a job candidate. Whatever confusion you are talking about was there within the TMC and uh, I have no interest nor any uh, you know uh, reason to you know go behind that and ask that how this did this happen but i made my position clear by saying that i am going to fight as a jack see i have asked for support from all the opposition minded people be it tmc be it jnlf be it gorkha league with all of them i have asked for a uh, sort their help basically and the reason for seeking TMC support is not that they have a strong base here, but uh, you know, once you are going to state legislative assembly, you have to have a good relation with the state government if you really want to work for the people. Of course, if you want to put some kind of posture and talk about things which you can't uh, sort of deliver, then you can do whatever you want to. You can take any kind of posture. But practically speaking, you can't extract anything from the state government if you don't maintain a cordial relationship with them. Now, maintaining cordial relation doesn't mean that you sacrifice the interests of the people. Whatever you do in politics, if you don't lose this thread, the base, that it should benefit the mass. And that is what I have been doing. Uh, to cite an example would be, uh, because of my cordial relation with all of them, I was able to bring in five institutions, no other MLA so far since 1952 has been able to bring in so many institutions, two government colleges, two ITI, one polytechnic and after I left the party, after my resigning within three months, I got the cabinet approval as a district for Kalimpong, which I think uh, I am thoroughly satisfied. I don't know about the people, my voters, because uh, the benefit of these things will start coming slowly. Hmm. A very simple reason, you know. In hills, I have seen that people who have the, the common man, the common mass who, has, who have suffered, is suffered because of the communal politics in the hills, you know. So, I wanted to drive, uh, or rather, I wanted to uh, bring people or take people away from this communal slant of politics. I wanted to make them more rational and reasonable. Because of communal politics, we are demanding huge things for last 107 years without realizing it. You know, there is no other demand in the country which is 109 years old, and we take pride saying that this Gorkhaland demand is 109 years old. Mm. You know, whereas if you go to the villages. Even in the municipal ward in the town itself, you talk to the people and they say, we don't want anything, but please let us have safe, clean, enough drinking water. Mm -hmm. Now, a party which has been unable even to provide drinking water is claiming that they are going to get them a separate state. And look at the paradox. Uh, it's the central government which, through act of parliament, creates a separate state. And you have a BJP government there. And Morsa is as good as BJP because it has supported the BJP candidate as MP. The first step for a separate state should have been bringing a bill for a separate state in the parliament. Hmm. Now what is this MP doing? And instead of putting pressure on their MP to bring a bill in the parliament, they are instead asking the MLS to resign. Now is the state at all empowered to create a state? But this way also, even there are a lot of educated people, I, I just look at them and I, I, I feel sick of them, you know, when they talk about these things. Hmm. See, we have, uh, that's the number one agenda in our manifesto. It is. We want a separate state. Hmm. That's there. Hmm. The difference, number one, is we want to attain a separate state slowly by empowering our own people, creating the infrastructure so that through whatever system that is in place, first let us build an infrastructure, let us empower people, you know, so that, you know, step-wise, one day 
we, we, that uh, system might not be enough to fulfill our aspiration. Then we will move uh, to that. Right now, you have a basic problem of road, food, employment, uh, you know, uh, education, health. Nothing is taken care of mm. in the name of Gorkha land. Mm. And uh, people are really uh, living uh, uh, there uh, in hell, in a way, you know. So this uh, terminology for them, Gurkha land, has become some kind of, a, you know, a boat catcher. I look at it as a weapon to further oppress our own people by depriving them, them of their basic amenities. Because if somebody demands water, then the party will say, oh, forget about water. Once Gurkha land happens, things will automatically happen. How things will happen automatically? You have to work for that and you have budget for that. You know, and where are you using that budget? So it's like a distracting the attention of the people from genuine and real tangible issues to an almost imaginary thing and see how they are uh, playing with the uh, Gorkha land issue. They have their man in the parliament. He's not doing anything. Hmm. They are not putting pressure. So our separate state agenda number one and their separate state agenda number one has a difference between heaven and hell. What? There were there were hardly any similarities between the party and myself, you know. I forget about differences. The, 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 then why did you join the party in the first place, sir? See, if you look at the Hindu mythology, you know, you you come across Ratnakar, who meets Narad, and after advice from Narad, he becomes Balmiki, goes to write Ramayana. So every Ratnakar should be provided an opportunity to become a Balmiki. I thought that good sense will prevail with the better people around him. Good sense will prevail. He will start understanding politics. He will take the right path. You are talking about Bimal Guru. Who else? There is only one man. Mm. So, then later on I realized that no, I am wasting my time here. Because uh, a number of uh, positions were offered to me by the state government which would have benefited uh, the people of uh, uh, Hill. Mm. The last one was I was made chairman of uh, state sericulture with my five years experience uh, in the sericulture research center. I knew everything about silkworm and the possibilities are immense, mm. in, especially in Kalimpong, mm. in Dazzling also in some places. For Kalimpong, it could have become an alternative to tea industry. So much is the possibility. And, uh, Mr. Vimal Guru and their central committee in Darjeeling flatly refused that they explained to me that this is a ploy by the state government to divide the party. I don't know how hmm. giving a position of power to one of the party members is going to divide the party. I hmm. don't understand. So that is how they were blocking me everywhere. Hmm. You know. Then I realized that these are not the people who are going to work for the people. Instead, the one who is capable of doing something for the people, they will do their best to block such people. Then I realized nothing to me, you know. In fact, in 2013 also, I decided, made up my mind to resign. I had gone with my resignation later to the speaker to hand it over to him. And he suggested me, don't take any decision in haste. Hmm. Please go back, consult with your friends. Because even this assembly will stand to lose if you go. You always raise issues about your place, hmm. you know. Hmm. And uh, Biman Manarji is the speaker. He had told me, Dr. Setri, uh, how many MLAs you have seen who uh, you know, take up the issues in the assembly about the people? So this house will stand to lose. Mm. And uh, I listened to him, I came back, I discussed mm. with my friends and they said, well, let this tenure be over. And I had, towards the end, before resigning also, I had said, uh, I had given a press conference saying that uh, uh, next election I am not going to fight. So it's on the record. That it's not a sudden thought, but that time I had not fight thought. from the GJM all or fight I at was, all. All okay. together, I was thinking of quitting politics. Hmm. But then, when things started happening, then I realized that how much important it is for me to be there now. District is being declared, which was my dream since 2011. Hmm. Whenever I met uh, Miss Banerjee, whenever she came to Kalimpo, hmm. I told her, "Look, this is such a huge subdivision, one, probably one of the biggest in Asia. Hmm. The police station hmm. in the Home Committee." Standing Committee for Home had visited Kalimpong. Hmm. I am also a member in hmm. that. 
they went to the thana and when they saw that it's 1056 square kilometer one thana my goodness it's the largest in asia so <coughs> i told madam every time i met her see my subdivision is between uh, two countries initially sikkim and bhutan it begins in sikkim and ends in bhutan from brahmapur to tanga mm-hmm. yeah. and with so poor infrastructure it deserves a district mm. I never thought that she would take such prompt decision and announce a mm. cabinet approval. Mm. Then it became mandatory for me to mm. be in politics, fight election, see to it that the district achieves its logical end. Mm. Uh, Jirala has a very strong presence in Karshio, not so much in Kalimpong. Yeah. Uh, but uh, having said that last time, 2011, election which i fought they polled somewhere near 8000 which is not a small number in terms of a battle which is fought so closely hmm that's a good number hmm but <coughs> they have almost uh, 30 to 35000 in uh, karshiam which can uh, really change the course hmm of the result so i feel for me i am really happy because whatever uh, number is added is to my advantage hmm. so i will take in karshiam also we can really make a difference we means there we are not fighting it's trinamool it's trinamool we are also supporting them hmm. even in darjeeling it's trinamool it's not job is job fighting from no, darjeeling it's, no it's, uh, hmm so far we haven't taken any decision in fact the bureau meeting is going so to take so only place. in kalimpong is where job is fighting right we are uh, uh, having a meeting just after i finish this thing okay so we will take decision on what we are going to do about darjeeling okay yeah. You tell me, just cite me one example. In all these uh, new states which were formed, was there any state government or a state union government which was supportive of the demand? All opposed. You talk about Jharkhand, you talk about Chhattisgarh, you talk about Uttaranchal. There are oppositions everywhere, within the state and in the center also. It all depends on the capability of the leader, how he steers the movement, how he can educate the people, how he puts his argument, how he convinces the government. It's all up to the quality of the leadership. That is one thing which our leadership lacked, despite popular support. That's the sole reason for which we failed. And I'm hopeful that it, because and today, you think you can make that happen today, even in the assembly, when I attend certain committee meetings, my friends openly say. What's the harm? Because you are still staying in the same country. Hmm. How come it's a division? Hmm. The Bengalis are saying hmm. because now they know that the man who is raising this issue is a reasonable man. Hmm. He is not communal. Hmm. He is not biased. Hmm. He is a fairly, you know, logical arguments. So whenever he, when he is saying, probably there is some element of truth in that, and it should be respected. So then, and why not clear. contest for a Lok Sabha seat instead of an assembly seat? If that is the party is barely two months old, and why you are asking me to fight for the Lok Sabha? If let me the, let me begin from the scratch. You know this. The support for you is formed, immense, though in Kalimpong. The support see, for you is immense. Was, our party was formed on twenty seventh of January. Yeah, Had I know. There been a Lok Sabha election on seventeenth April. I would have fought the Lok Sabha election because there is no Lok Sabha. This is Vidhan Sabha. I will fight Vidhan Sabha election.